A martyr gives witness that the persecutors may kill the body, but they can't kill his soul. Hello everyone, I'm Father Jim Kelleher with Liturgy Prep for Wednesday, November 24th. And today is the feast of St. Andrew Dung Lok and the other 116 Vietnamese martyrs. St. Andrew was born near Hanoi, and at the age of 12, he converted to Catholicism and was baptized by the missionaries. And then he had a natural aptitude for prayer and was very serious about living a good life, pleasing to God. And so he became a seminarian. And then at age 28, he was ordained a priest for the diocese there. Now, during that time, <clears throat> he was, you know, assigned to a parish and he had his own little flock there. But the government was very hostile to the Catholic Church, and he was arrested two times and thrown into prison. But his parishioners loved him so much that they collected their money and went and actually bought him out of prison. They ransomed him. But then, finally, he was arrested a third time, and this time he didn't get out of prison. The, the, persecution, the persecution was so fierce that, he was, that the government beheaded him. Now, on one level, that's a great tragedy, isn't it? For someone 44 years old, a young priest with a flock of, you know, several thousand people or whatever, for him to lose his life at such a young age is really sad on one level. But actually, this martyr's life continues to speak till today. And this martyr's heroic witness has strengthened the faith of the Vietnamese people. I don't know if you've ever met a Vietnamese Catholic but I'll tell you one thing, they have a, it, you can almost call it a fierce devotion to the Virgin Mary. And they love to celebrate Marian feast days. And you can see how Mary keeps them very close to her son, Jesus. And you know that St. Andrew and the other 160 martyrs are helping to do that. And so <laughs> martyrdom, witness, I'd like to look at that a little bit more in depth. A martyr gives witness to his that his faith is more important than money, success, or fame. A martyr gives witness that the persecutors may kill the body, but they can't kill his soul. A martyr gives witness that love is stronger than death, for when a martyr dies, his soul immediately enters heaven and is received by the Father into eternal life. The blood of martyrs is the seed of Christians. And today in Vietnam, which is a communist country, there are 7 million Catholics, which comprises 7.5% of the Vietnamese population. That's impressive. Most of the other countries in Asia only have 1% or less Catholics. But you can see the witness of St. Andrew Dunlock and those other 116 martyrs that these were men and women of incredible faith, incredible courage, and incredible confidence in God. And so they have their eternal reward, and their witness is strengthening the current day Vietnamese Catholics to be faithful, to not give up, to know that God is providing for them, and God will defend them. How can these martyrs help you and me? Well, they can help obtain for us the courage to face persecution in our own lives. We live in a very hostile culture to Catholicism. The people that are pro-death are very virulent in their opposition to people who are pro-life. We believe that the child in the womb has the right to equal protection under the law. You and I need courage to give witness to that. You and I need to be open to God making us pro-life missionaries. So let's you and me take a little reflection on our own lives. Am I living my life primarily for convenience, primarily to take the easy way? Or am I living my life seeking to do God's will, seeking to live in the truth, for Jesus himself is the truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And maybe we could ask ourselves today, is there something Jesus is asking of you, something he's asking of me to do? more for him and for the least of his little ones. Ave Maria. Music